Hey guys, welcome to Wedding YouTube! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, what's up? My name is VNA String. <laughs> I just said my name was VNA String. String. I am obviously excited about this video. If you don't know me, my name is VNA Strick. I make beauty content, but we are doing a wedding series because I am getting married. As you can see by the title, I did take you guys dry shopping today with me. So this video is going to be kind of like a vlog. It, you know, I obviously shot the videos in different days, but I wanted to kind of come into my studio and explain to you guys like what I liked about each dress, what I didn't. You know, did I find a dress? Like that's the biggest question. Did I find my perfect dress we will find out um, but yeah so I guess let's just get into it um, if you like this video please make sure to give it a big fat thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to join my squad let's get into it so let me do a quick explanation one place let me do a whole video like bring my camera and everything the other one didn't just because I guess people have complained that like they didn't want to be in videos like other brides which I totally understand I wasn't planning on getting anybody but me anyways um, so I was able to bring my phone take pictures take little clips of course I didn't get anybody in the video that didn't want to be in the video if you guys see anybody it's my mom or my best friend Lena so the first place I went to is Brickhouse Bridal in the Woodland it's more of like a smaller boutique they do have a beautiful selection but it's definitely a smaller selection this was my first time trying on wedding dresses so you will see in the first store that I was trying on different silhouettes and then in the second store that I show you guys you will see like a trend because that's when I realized like what I really like by the way Wyatt if you're watching this video get out get out starting off with this dress to be honest I've never really thought that straps would be nice on me. I love, love, love dresses with straps, but I always love them on other people. I'm a little bit of a bustier girl, and I personally don't like making my boobs look any bigger. I actually like them to look smaller. And so even though a dress like this actually gives me a lot of support and like perks them up, it's just not the vibe I'm going for. But this was absolutely stunning. It has beautiful beading. It has like that half and half that really like cinches your waist. And I do love how it just pops out as a mermaid. It's just not my vibe, but I do think it's a stunning dress. But I did want to try on, I've always liked tighter dresses but I did want to try on a little bit of a flowy one not a ball gown but like a flowy a-line and so then I decided to try this one on I realized that that does not look good on me uh, like I said I'm a little bit more top heavy so I feel like it just doesn't look very good on me for some reason I mean I'm not a dress expert but that dress it was absolutely stunning. I just didn't think it was very flattering on my body. I did like the neckline and I loved all the lace and I really love the back. I am a sucker for like a see-through lacy back and that's exactly what this was, but I just realized that, you know, it just, that just silhouette is just not very nice on me. So then it gave me an idea of like maybe trying on a ball gown. I was like, you know what? When else are you going to wear a ball gown? I used to think I wanted a ball gown when I was like 15. Now I'm not sure about that. But I did decide to try on this ball gown. And I'm not going to lie to you guys. I liked it way more than I thought. And like my mom and my best friend also like were not fans of the ball gown. Until I put it on and we were like, wait a minute. This is kind of magical. Obviously the dress is magical. I loved the little sleeves on the side. I loved all like the lace and of course I really love the neckline. It's a big big dress and I'm not gonna lie. I call it like a princess moment. Like I was having a princess moment thinking that maybe this could be the dress but then I realized that it's just not me. Even though it's stunning and that's what's so hard about trying on wedding dresses is that they're all literally stunning so it's so hard to like say no to a dress because it's obviously beautiful but I will say not only did I have a princess moment but I also had a quinceañera moment have you seen those pictures of like little girls and their quinceañera or not quinceañera I think first communion first communion pictures that's kind of what I was going for I don't know I think I'm funny then we have a very very sexy number which I really really liked we have this like deep plunge mermaid stunning like this dress I, I had it on for a while and I was like this is stunning um, I will say there was no bling to it and I think I like bling a little bit more than I even thought about 
this was beautiful again it had almost like that top to waist half and half like shift in fabric which really helps of course like give you that like cinched waist hourglass look and i did i love the silhouette of this dress it just didn't wow me as much as i would want but i was i thought this was stunning moving on to the next one this dress i thought the back was way prettier than the front and i just can't compromise the front um I, I think it's beautiful it was just too much like i do love lace but it was way too much lace and because it was a lot of lace and it was like ivory on ivory it just looked like a lot i feel like maybe if the fabric would have been nude and then all the details were in ivory they would pop out more but the back again see-through lacy like chef's kiss but again, just not it. Okay, next we have another dress which I thought was stunning as well. I love the deep plunge and I love the lining on the hips. It like, it's almost like an illusion on your body to make it look even better. And I really liked it. Again, it kind of reminded me of the last one that was just like too busy. It just wasn't my favorite, but I will say the sides and the back with the peekaboo like so sexy, but like in a classy way. And then it had a beautiful train. Again, just not for me, but I really did like this. Okay, now this dress, let me tell you guys something. When you're shopping for dresses, sometimes you might fall in love with a dress because of how good it makes your body look, but not necessarily because of how nice the dress actually is. I will say this is a stunning gown, and I think it's beautiful, but what I loved more about it is that it had a little bit of like a ribbed rib cage kind of deal into it so it was like sucking me in really nicely and i loved the way my body looked and since it's a pretty dress and i thought my body looked good i was like oh my god this is beautiful this is stunning but my mom was like are you sure like i don't know i didn't expect you to be obsessed with this and i was like i know but look look at my body and my mom was like your body's gonna look good regardless just you know don't pick a dress just because you're your body looks good in it but i will say this was definitely a contender for a hot minute there i just didn't have the moment of like this is it so therefore um i switched it but i did have to make sure that it was dance proof i mean every single every single dress needed to be dance proof because i'll be having fun at my wedding and so that is the end of the first consultation so yeah i had a really good time there uh, our consultant was amazing she was so helpful she just like listened to everything that i wanted and then after that i realized that i really am loving a more form-fitting gown and so in the next store i only really tried on form-fitting i tried on one more like ball gown just to see and i will say Oh, it's stunning, but again, it's just not me, but it's stunning. We went to Mizora Blush Boutique, I believe, Mizora Bridal. I will link uh, them and their Instagram down below. They actually let me film like a whole video with my camera. So I'm gonna show you a little clip of when we first entered and some clip of the dresses, and then I will talk through um, the options that I tried on. Hey guys, I'm here with my mom, my little helper. Say hi to the squad. Hi, squad. Woo. <laughs> uh, we're here outside of Missora Bridal. I will leave, like I said, all the, of course, the locations and the addresses down below. But we're a little bit early, so we're just going to hang out in here before we go in. And yeah, hope you guys enjoy. This is one of my favorites. For a second there, I was like, could this be the one? Could this be the one? But I was like, no, it's not. But guys, look at this dress. Is this not stunning? Like, absolutely stunning. The way the plunge neckline, the way the lining on it accentuates the body, the peekaboo areas on the side and the back makes your just look amazing. Look at the back. It's stunning. And the lace, like everything about it, the color, nude and white, or I feel like it's nude and ivory. I really love this dress, but I don't know. Something about it made me not pick it. Like, I was obsessed with it, but I didn't fall in love with it. And, you know, I like to go with my gut, but this is definitely a contender. I mean, it's, 
I'm like staring at it right now. I'm like, should I put this in the video? Should I not? Is this a contender? Okay, next we have a dress that really just shows how not, not every dress is gonna look good on your body, personally. I just feel like this dress does nothing for me. I really love the sleeve look, but I don't know. It's just, you know, you look at models wearing dresses and you're like, oh my God, that's stunning. And even though, yes, the dress is stunning, you really do have to find something like for your body. And I just felt like this did nothing for me. I do think the dress is absolutely stunning. But first of all, the sleeves, like I couldn't do anything. Like I was like, how am I gonna like dance? Like I can't do that. I don't love the neckline. I feel like it didn't do much for me. I do love the silhouette, but um, it was just too much and not enough at the same time. This dress was absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely. I know I said that I didn't love the straps on myself, but this dress was really beautiful. I, I mean, this, like, if I was ever going to have a strap dress, it would be this one. Again, I just don't, don't love the way it looks on me. I'm not trying to be like super booby at my wedding, but I did fall in love with this dress. It does have so much bling and like embroidery and I just loved everything about it. It's just, it's just again, one of those dresses that is stunning. It's just not for me. It's not you, it's me, but it, you're, you're beautiful. The next one is actually a dress that I was like, ah, I just hit myself. Um, I saw it on a mannequin and I was like, oh my god, it's another ball gown, but I have to have it on my body. So I tried it on and I actually, I almost thought it was the one. I'm not gonna lie. This dress is stunning. Like, do we see the glitter on that tulle skirt and on the bodice? The bodice was kind of hitting at me weird on like the right side of my chest, but it was stunning. And also like the lady who was helping me out, she was great because she actually like turned off the lights for me so that I could see how stunning it actually would be, um, you know, in the dark, like in the after party, after the ceremony. And I just thought it was amazing. I mean, you guys know I'm getting married in San Miguel de Allende. So I was like, oh my God, this dress would be perfect for there. But even though this dress would be perfect for the occasion, it's just not the perfect dress for me. But I love it. This is like, this is like almost my child, but it's not. It's like my niece. My child will be the dress that I pick. But I still love her. I still love this dress and I'll always think about her. Alrighty guys, and the last dress I tried on, I honestly tried it on because my mom asked me to. I do think these dresses are beautiful. They're just like not me at all, at all. They're stunning, it's just not me. These just like white or ivory dresses, um, I think it's stunning. It just doesn't fit my personality. But I will say it also had that bodice thing and, and like it was sucking me in and I love the way it was making my body look. But um, as much as I think they're like beautiful and classic and they look beautiful in other people, it's just not my vibe. I Like I said, I wasn't even gonna try on any of these dresses because I just know they're not for me, but my mom asked me to and I was like, you know what? This is stunning and it's making my tan pop, but I did this for you, mom, and it was fun to dress up in it. It's just not it, but I do think it's gorgeous. I do think it's absolutely gorgeous. I, I can appreciate dresses that are not for me, you know? So as you can tell by the video, I actually did not say yes to dress yet, but I am gonna do a part two if you guys are interested. I do have two more appointments. If, if I haven't found my dress by then, maybe I'll go to more, but as of right now, I have two more appointments. Let me know if you guys enjoy this video um, and if you guys want to see more. I love playing dress up and this has been like the most fun dress up I've ever played. So let me know if you guys want part two. Please comment, like, share if you guys are interested and then I will make another one. I just wanna make sure that this is something you guys wanna watch. If you guys haven't seen the rest of my wedding series, I did go show you guys some venues. I also um, showed you guys like a bridesmaid box and everything like that. I also, the next video I'm gonna show you guys in my wedding series is actually diamond shopping. I went to go um, look at wedding bands and I ended up playing with beautiful, beautiful jewel. I went to go look for wedding bands and I ended up playing with like beautiful, stunning jewelry. So please keep an eye out for that video and make sure you guys watch it. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys wanna see next. I love you guys so, so much and just thank you for 
being a part of my wedding journey. I really appreciate you guys. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.